that's uh, just unreal. So we didn't call it Lake Roney. No, we but called Fritz and we called uh, McMullen, and those two guys were both out there with with uh, Roney. But I hey, think they both got assists on that goal. They may have, but uh, I'm waiting for the three stars. But Connor Boshoff's not first star. I gotta go have a talk, have a word with the boys that are calling three stars. Well. He played phenomenal. Bro, Schaup is the reason why the Cougars won that game. He is, because the rest of the team was not playing that good. Um, they definitely had uh, lots of brain farts. The the two goals against, you can contribute to Chris Grodney assist. So Fred gets the assist, and Zagrodny yeah. gets the other assist. So the Cougars take a... Three stars. Hold on. I'm, I'm waiting for the three stars. Milligan? Lake Roney with the goal. Oh, got to be. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was. So, Charlie Bashaw getting a first star. Nah, I would have given a third star to Ryland Ball instead of uh, Milligan because if it wasn't for Ryland Ball, Milligan wouldn't have had any goals. So, but it doesn't matter here nor there. Um, what a. It's going to be interesting. I'm not. I don't hear what the coach says when you interview him because I'm busy doing other things, but. It's going to be interesting right to, to uh, talk to you after the game and find out what he said. Anyway. Now being joined by the head coach of the Cougars, Mark Van Helvert. Congratulations on the win. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I did not expect this outcome. The way that the first two and a half periods of this game went. No faith, eh? No faith. Yeah, no, the Cougars, they seemed a little disjointed for, last, for a good chunk of the game. They were missing yeah. passes. They were not... Passing when they should have, they weren't shooting when they should have, and they just didn't seem like they were themselves. And then the last half of the third period, they clicked, and they were playing like they normally do. They were playing the yeah. Cougars game. Yeah, it was funny. It was uh, 40 minutes of, you know, you're probably right, 50 minutes of, of wasted hockey and, and not much purpose, and really just not a great environment. Our bench was quiet, and, and the guys were, were distracted, and, and there just wasn't that focus like we usually have. And, you know, then we get a big spark there from a guy that we don't see scoring all, too many goals over the course of our season. Jordy Marciniak goes in, and he's been great all playoffs, and rips a puck that beats their goalie, and then all of a sudden it's just a new team from there. It's amazing how the momentum can shift on one goal. Yeah, well, it's funny, and that's the troubling part, is everyone was looking around waiting for somebody else to do something, and nobody was getting to work, and, you know, even uh, tonight Jordy didn't have his best game, but he got a puck there, and he took a couple of good hard strides, and he took his head up, and... Uh, you know, nailed the puck and it found a hole, and then it's funny. It's, and these guys think that uh, they're tired and they're starting to make excuses in their head, and all of a sudden they score a goal like that, and all of a sudden they're fresh. So you know, I wasn't thrilled with their mental toughness tonight. I, I was wavering on, are we going to quit or are we not going to quit? What's going to happen here? And I hate that feeling. It's an awful feeling. And then to, uh, to see everything shift on Jordy's goal was, uh, was pretty special. I think everyone in the Cougars dressing room needs to give Connor Beauchamp a huge hug. Oh, if it wasn't for him, so. the Panthers would have won by a long, yeah, yeah, I mean, margin. You know, I don't know what the school is going to say there. It says they had 35 shots against, and I'm not even kidding you, probably 30 of those were high-quality scoring opportunities. Our defense tonight, and, and uh, the fact that we just continue to give up offense off the rush, I've never, I can honestly say that I've never seen a performance like that in a big game, and we're not talking little saves, we're talking big saves from very, very skilled offense. Even in overtime, oh, eight, three in the crease alone. Yeah, and like I said, 35 shots on that, and, and there's no doubt about it in that mind, probably 30 of those are, are pretty good scoring opportunities, and uh, for him to come up big in a game like this and uh, to give us an opportunity to win, and that's what he did. He gave us an opportunity to win for the entire game, even in the first period and second period, he just kind of hung us in there and hung us in there and, and kept us around, and gave us a chance to win a game in 10 minutes, which is really disappointing at this time of year, but uh, pretty special on the same half. Well, congratulations on the win. You guys have all the momentum going into game six tomorrow night, so good luck playing in the Panthers' barn. That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, we look forward to it. Thank you. As the head coach of the Victoria Cougars, Mark Van Helvert, joining me in the booth, the Victoria Cougars, all hope seemed to be lost coming into the third period. The Panthers had all the momentum. They had all the goals. They had all the shots. They had all the plays. But Connor Beauchamp stood on his head and gave the Cougars the opportunity to get back in this game. A quick, powerful shot from Jordan Marciniak gets the momentum shifting in the Cougars' direction. And just like that, the best team in this league shows why they are the best team in this league. Unleashes three awesome goals in a very short period of time to take this game from the grips of the Panthers. 
Game six tomorrow night at 7.30. The Cougars look to become three-time VIJHL playoff champions. But the Peninsula Panthers have shown that they can compete with the best in this league. If the Panthers do win tomorrow night, game seven is back here on Sunday at 3.30 p.m. But the Cougars don't want to see game seven. They want to take it all tomorrow night. If you're in town, make sure you make it out to the Panorama Rec Center. It's going to be an unreal game as the Cougars look to win that trophy for the third straight year. If that's the case and the Cougars do manage to win it, this is my last broadcast of the year. And I want to give my thanks to everyone that has watched me throughout the season. I really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of growing pains introducing the new format. And I guarantee you next year it's going to be bigger and even better. So maybe see you Sunday, but... I don't think so. So thank you very much for watching this season. Thank you for everyone to tune in to Victoria Cougars Hockey right here on FastHockey.com. We will be back in the same place next year. Good night, everybody.